everyone, it's Saturday afternoon um, and Jess and I are just on our way to Lakeside. We're just stopping off for some petrol first. We haven't really got many plans this weekend so we thought we'd go to Lakeside just because I'm a bit bored of the shops around here so I thought I'd see what's happening and I also want to pop into Primark. We've just arrived to Lakeside, um, parking was a complete nightmare. We went round about a million times trying to find a spot but we've also seen they've got a little beach over there. I'm not sure if you can see it from this far. We might pop in there later. I think first we're just going to grab some food um, and then hit the shops and then see what we do from there. Is there anywhere that you need to go? Um, so we'll get this stuff and check it out. Have they got Mankind yet? Yeah. Mankind is gone. Oh, uh, maybe. Probably. We're just heading into Primark now. Let's see what they have. We literally spent a good hour in Primark and we almost spent about £100 between the two of us, right? Yep, £100 on Primark. Look at all the stuff we bought. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, to be fair, this is like cotton wool and like uh, tech stuff and beauty bits and things like that. So we're just going to drop this stuff off to the car and then we're going to go back inside to go and have some lunch. It's probably about four o'clock now and we haven't eaten, so that's the plan. I'm thinking we want Thai Express. Fried right, rice, right, the chicken. I got pad thai with tofu and vegetables. You can choose whether you want tofu, vegetables, chicken, prawns. Um, this is what I got and it looks so good. So I have to say, my food tastes nothing like a pad thai, but it is actually really good. It's just like normal stir fried noodles, um, but yeah, it doesn't taste remotely like a pad thai, it's so funny. Anyway, the other thing I wanted to say was I'm really confused because actually in Thailand people don't use chopsticks um, and these guys had a choice of forks and chopsticks. Um, I just like using them but I'm pretty sure it's not a Thai thing. We have just spent a good 20 minutes in Hamleys. Yeah, you get carried away with the toys. Boys and their toys, honestly, it's so boring when you're not there's actually shopping for people. There's some funky gadgets here. Yeah, it was so much fun. Um, we're still shopping, we've been here for hours. Um, so yeah. It's so tiring and uh, so there's literally nothing in the shops. It's so boring. It is boring now because we've done most of the shopping. <laughs> we haven't bought anything though. We've bought a few things. We just bought loads of crap and food and oh. coffee. Yeah. We'll do a show and tell later. I might do, uh, depending on. I can't actually remember because I forgot we went to Primark earlier and we put stuff in the cart already. I just need to go into Debenhams and that's about it really. Do you want to go No. All done. So tired. I just went to Bobby Brown um, in Debenhams and that lady on the counter was one of the nicest people I've ever spoken to on a makeup counter. She was so friendly and really, really helpful. In fact, I've actually changed all my under eye makeup. So we tried out loads of different products and it turns out that I was actually using the wrong corrector. So now I've got one in a slightly lighter shade. I didn't buy the concealer, but she has given me a sample of it to try. So to go back into the car and have a look. The only problem is I didn't like the setting powder that she's used. So I am going to have to use my own and try it all out myself at home, which is why I'm really glad that I've got a few samples to play around with. But the shops are now closed and I cannot believe it's nine o'clock. Um, so we're going to head home and maybe grab some dinner on the way. We decided to stop off in Enfield on our way home. Um, we've been to a Turkish restaurant here before, um, ages ago, and the food was really good. So I think that's where we're going to go now and we're going to grab some dinner. It's really late, I think it's almost 10 o'clock at night, but I saw on their website they're open till 11.30. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they have a table and yeah. So this is a restaurant that we're at and it's so funny because they bring out so much food um, and it, I think it's all complimentary but it's really good. This is the sort of stuff I would have ordered anyway. Hummus, um, salad, some aubergine thing and that's like a yoghurt and mint thing. I'm not sure if it's called tara masalata or kesik. I'm not too sure but yeah. It looks really good. Chicken cheese. Look at how much shopping we did yesterday. There's two bags here. Um, there's so much stuff and we went a little bit crazy in Primark, like I said yesterday. I'm just on a bit of a mission this morning cleaning the house, which is why I have no bed sheets on. Um, they're currently being washed. But Jess and I are just going to go through all these bits because we're packing 
looking to go to my aunt's house tonight. Do leave me a comment down below if you would like to see a Primark haul. Um, I can film one of those for you properly. But right now I just need to go through these bags to see what I have um, and finish off cleaning and all the rest of it. So do leave me a comment down below letting me know if you want to see that. We're actually just stuck in traffic um, on Edgware Road because I think Notting Hill Carnival's on um, and there's loads of traffic because loads of roads have been closed. So hopefully we get there sometime soon. So I've just had a massive coffee and I really need to go for a wee. <laughs> This is what London traffic is like. It's such a nightmare, um, but it's obviously worse today because of the carnival. We're pretty much here, um, but I was just gonna come on here really quickly to say that I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to vlog tonight. Um, just because Jas and I are going out for dinner with my aunt and she really hates being on camera well she can't be on camera because of her job um but yeah she just hates all sorts of social media and all the rest of it so yeah i'll try and pull out the camera when i can <laughs> but like i said we're spending the night here and then jess is out tomorrow and i'm gonna stay at my aunt's while he's out get some work done and maybe pop out with her but i'm not too sure so i'm just gonna play it by ear and see what happens and i will catch up with you guys in a bit this is so random but don't you just hate when you need to go for a wee and you keep driving over potholes there are so many in London I'm like oh no toilet toilet um, but also the closer you get to home or wherever you're going and you know you can go to the toilet the more desperately you need to go this coffee was huge and now I'm literally dying <laughs> that was my random thought of the day <laughs> just at my aunt's house and I forgot to show you this box that I bought with me um, I got some PR stuff in here but I've bought a couple of body scrubs so I've bought this one um, and and the model co one to test out tomorrow and i've bought loads of sheet masks for us to try out so hopefully we will try some out tonight there's a couple of eye ones in here they're all from sephora um korean ones and some masquerade ones too so look forward to trying these all out i don't think i've tried any of these before apart from the sephora ones but we finally decided where we're going for dinner and we are off to Oaxaca. So we're just gonna drive there now and then come back and do some face masks and have some drinks. No more. Nicer than this. How is it just? Very nice. So we're back at my aunt's house now after a really nice meal at Oaxaca. We actually wanted to go for a walk after dinner, but she completely forgot that she left this bottle of tonic water in the freezer and she thought it might explode. So we had to come rushing home, but luckily it hasn't defrosted. Um, it's starting to sort of warm up a little bit now, if you like. So we're now gonna have some cocktails. We had such a filling meal. I feel a little bit sick. Like we're all really full and we're just like, ugh. But I think we'll somehow manage the cocktails. Hurry up, say hi to everyone. Way! That was a very delayed reaction. <laughs> An egg cup. Classy. You're meant to measure these up. <laughs> you can't get them wrong. <laughs> it's 3, 2, 1, isn't it? There we are. Cheers! Cheers! On to the second glass. This is mm. going to be dangerous. FYI, drunk Nishi may make an appearance on Snapchat. Thanks. We're choosing our face masks. I think I showed you these earlier, but I also have eye masks that I bought from Sephora last year. I think I want to try out this one. It's a new Korean skincare mask, and it's infused with anti-aging collagen essence. So that sounds really good. <laughs> So I've just finished my cocktail and now it's time to do a face mask. I've decided to go with this one by the Creme Shop and I think it looks like an actual tiger. So I'm really excited to try it. I've just opened it up. So I'm going to show you. This is what my face looks like beforehand. I've cleansed twice and I've toned. I haven't done anything else to my skin. So I'm going to put the face mask on now. Don't have nightmares. Okay? <laughs> Slash ding. Uh, you know wrestling. <laughs> so I'm going to put this face mask on now. It feels really slimy. Okay, oh jeez. This one's like a lot more gooier than the Sephora ones that I've tried before. Can I see? Yeah, I can. 
What do you think? Grrr. <laughs> you feel like Tony the Tiger doing a Frosties advert here. Maybe I should flip these in. Yeah, you look like Tony the Tiger. Oh, <laughs> it's so funny. Wow. That's it. <laughs> Next it blends with your skin. Oh, orange. <laughs> Scent tan. There you go. I can't see any visible difference in my skin. Um, I did massage all the excess liquid into my skin and on my hands because there was so much of it. And I have to say, it feels a little bit tacky. It's not completely sticky, not really uncomfortable, but it's just a bit tacky to the touch. So I'm gonna see how it is in the morning and I will update you to let you know how I get on. I'm gonna go to bed now and I'll see you tomorrow. It's Monday, almost afternoon now. Um, I've spent the morning working on my aunt's balcony. Jess has gone out today because he had work to do and I thought that I would just try and be productive because I feel like I'm out every single weekend and I really just needed a bit of extra time to get ahead with my blog. I tend to find that I always spend Monday typing up Tuesday's blog post because that's when I normally post on the blog. So I just thought that seeing as it's Monday, I would do just that. And actually, I've been really productive. Like I said, I've been working on the balcony and it makes such a nice change to being at home but I've had to come inside now because it's a bit too sunny and I can't really see what I'm doing on my laptop so yeah I've just updated my blog so I've posted the last two videos that I uploaded on YouTube I don't always do them on the day and I can't do them in advance because I need to embed the video in there it's all very complicated but my aunt's just popped out to the shops to go and get us some lunch so I'm gonna go for a shower and hopefully I'll be out by the time she comes back we're gonna have lunch um, and then I might just do some more work while I wait for Jas and then we're gonna head home tonight so that's about as interesting as this day is going to be. <laughs> Cheers. So I just got home from my aunt and we put the new Kath Kidston bed sheet on our bed. So I really quickly wanted to show you because I think they look super pretty. I'm so tired, I'm ready to collapse and get into bed and it's not even 11pm so this is really early for me. But I just wanted to really quickly vlog and show you. Good night.